hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's me Demi I'm doing my makeup as you guys can see but I was like let me start vlogging because I need to talk to the people your girl is feeling super anxious today because today is the first day of classes I am back from being a college dropout um, I'm at community school I have one or two classes left before I finish up my associate's degree so I was like let me just knock it out y'all know I was talking about it in my one of my weekly rants haven't seen the rant is right here okay my last rant of 2023 but the professor so the class i'm taking today well the class i'm taking for the semester it's an english class and it's a writing class and i don't know i mean i like writing kind of sort of maybe possibly but i don't like really reading too much like reading is not really like i don't know like i do need to read more but anyways so the professor sends over the syllabus and i'm looking over it and i'm just like you want me to do all of this? No. You want me to write a seven page research paper like over the course of the semester? And I think it was like three or four or five like other papers that have to be uh, five paragraphs. And I'm just like, bro, this sound like a lot of work. And I was looking at the syllabus and the readings or whatever. And it look hard. Like it don't look like no easy readings. Like I seen some Shakespeare on there. I hate Shakespeare. Like I hate Shakespeare. Like I don't know what the heck they be talking about. Like thou this and thus and all that kind of stuff. Like what are you talking about, bro? Can you get to the point? I need like a Google translation on this or something. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. I'm a dead thinking about just like dropping out <laughs> before I even get started. Cause second of all. I don't even know what point I'm on, but I have to pay for this class out of pocket and it's like $600, something like that. And I have to finance it because I'm broke as hell, okay? So I'm doing like $100 until the semester is over or something like that, I don't know. And I was like, why am I paying $100 or $600, whatever it is, to torture myself? Like I'm doing this so I can get my associate's degree. And then what? It's just like, my main goal right now is to find a better paying job, another stream of income, all that kind of stuff. And me taking this class is not gonna do that. Like, cause I don't even know if I wanna go to like a four year university. If I do go to a university, I think I would major in marketing, but I probably have to pay for that out of pocket as well. I don't know if I'll be eligible for financial aid because I've been back and forth to school so many times and I know they're tired of paying for me, okay? So I'll probably have to take out student loans or something, I don't know. But I'm like, let me just finish this associate's degree just because I can say I finished. But who cares if I finish? Like getting an associate's degree is not going to help me get a higher paying job. Like nobody cares about an associate's degree, you know? So I was like, maybe I shouldn't do this class because I don't feel like writing no papers. I don't feel like doing none of that. Like it was giving me anxiety. Like just by looking at the syllabus, I was getting anxiety and I do not handle stress well. A girl was definitely stressed out when I saw that uh, syllabus, okay? Let me bring y'all down some so I can sit. I'm actually getting ready for work right now. I don't have to go to work, but the packer is still not available. And y'all seen from my last vlog, I have to go to the fulfillment center and pack the orders. But the packer is not available, so I have to go to the fulfillment center. And after that, I'm probably gonna do my laundry and then I'm gonna go to class, okay? And then I'm gonna come back home, work out, and try to stay on top of whatever I need to stay on top of because C's get degrees, okay? And I'm not aiming for a C. I really want an A, like it's one class. I really want an A, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get an A, okay? A B, a B would be good. I definitely want to get more than a C, but uh, I don't know. This is just stressing me out, y'all. And um, I'm gonna go through the class. I decided I was talking to my friend. Shout out to Akia. She was talking to me about it. And she was telling me how she a book nerd and all of that. So she gonna help me. She gonna help me make it through. So I'm gonna try to make it through. Let me finish this makeup because it's taking me a little bit too long to do this. And I'm not really doing nothing spectacular, but I need to hurry up and get dressed and get it out this door, okay?
skin side of makeup came out. Y'all know I do what I do when I do when I do when I do it. All right, let me get dressed. I don't have no first day of school outfit plant or whatever, but let me just throw something on because I got to get going, honey. Okay, so I'm out the fulfillment center. Hang on my little outfit check. So y'all can see. I'm gonna, I might zoom in so y'all can see full body, but I got my silver so far, my silver bag, I mean my silver jacket, my silver and white shoes from Walmart. And I have on this green abaya that's like exactly the same as the black abaya that I'm always wearing that my friend made me. And I have on my gray hijab. But anyways, we need to get to these orders. We don't have too many today. We have three orders today. So let's get to it. day later and i'm about to change this body form i talked to y'all about school so this is what she's wearing the larissa abaya i'm gonna put a picture of it right here in case y'all interested in buying it but we're gonna get her into this uh navy abaya and we're gonna get her into this uh red hijab ain't gonna take me that long but i wanted to tell y'all about my first day of school so I have been to many, I've changed my major so many times. Like I've changed my major so many times, it's ridiculous. I think I changed it like five times. And so I'm not like really progressing. Anyways, I have to take an English class left and I have a communications class. And the English class that I went to, it was a, word, it was a Western literature class. And I was super anxious about it. Like I was telling y'all about it early on in the video. But tell me how the day after I took the class, my advisor, she calls me and she's like, oh, um, cause I had called her to ask her what classes that I needed. And I left a message cause she wasn't available. But she called me back and she was like, oh, I was able to look at your schedule. And I see that you're registered for a class that you already took already. Like she was like, I took this class in 2019. I have no recollection of taking this class. Like I've taken so many classes. So that class, I basically went there for nothing because I already took the class. And it wasn't like we did anything or I had to work because the professor, he was just yapping. It was the first day of class. So he was just talking about the syllabus. Not somebody walking in here in the middle of me recording my video. Anyway, so the professor was just talking about the syllabus and I did get some footage of him because I know I'm committed to bringing y'all vlogs. So I've been real consistent on my channel, so I've been trying to record everything. So here's a little white dude. I want to see someone again. So put on YouTube and watch Michael Jackson. At least you knew how to do it. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I'll see a good dancer, not an idiot. Okay. So, okay. So the point being, it'll all still. So yeah, I had already took the class already. So I had to drop the class and register for a new class. But I'm not going to be in that class until Wednesday because I still have the class on the same days, Mondays and Wednesdays. But Monday is a holiday. And speaking of Monday, since I don't have class, I'm going to try to have a little photo shoot. Not like an official photo shoot, but just be out and about with my camera so I can get some footage. So we'll see if that makes it to the vlog, y'all. I am the worst at putting the scarves on the mannequins, on the body forms. Is this cute? I wanted to show off that the scarf has bling on it. I don't know. What y'all think? Is it cute or what? Is it cute? I think it's cute, but I just don't know about the way this scarf is on here. I didn't even see all this makeup. Like, 
makeup is always transferring on my freaking clothes but anyways i'm at work right now as you guys can see and i'm a little out of breath because i've been walking for 15 minutes listen i am committed i am committed to getting my 10,000 steps a day okay it is january 12th i think and i have been 12 days of 10,000 steps okay i really be at work doing nothing sometimes so i was like let me get up and get my steps together i'm just walking around the store getting my steps in and i'm at 15 minutes right now and i do have this app called the steps app so i can track my steps i wish apple like instead of telling me to stand every hour on an hour i wish they would tell me to get up and get my steps in because i really need to get my steps in more than i need to get up and stand okay so i'm just walking around the store going for a little walkie walkie walk make sure y'all get up and yeah, let me put y'all down somewhere so i could get my steps in and so i could put some b-roll in this video put y'all right here put y'all right here so y'all can see me walking bye <laughs> I just hit a mile. I've been walking around the store for 24 minutes and I just hit a mile. Get your steps in today, y'all. Okay, so it is now 2.03 and we have 4,668 steps. I'm gonna do another little 30 minute walk in about 30 minutes. But before then, let's do some work. Do y'all remember Monica? This is our in-store mannequin, Monica. I'm about to get her a new outfit. I had this super cute outfit in mind. So let me just see if it's gonna look cute. Executed, okay? Let's see. First off, we gotta strip her of her veil. Give me that veil, girl. Um, you don't need this hijab. She's not wearing black anymore. Um, take off her. Take off homegirl Araya, because we're not wearing black. I hardly ever wear black. Like the most I wear black is to work, but I'm not really a black girl. I mean, I'm a black girl, but I just don't wear black too often. So we're gonna get her into a brighter color. Yeah, more of a. Modesty around here, okay? Don't look at these parts, but she got her shirt on. You got your shirt on. First, I'm gonna start with this sleeveless dress. Have this super cute Abaya. Got some speeding on it. Matt cute. My girl is looking good, y'all. I will actually wear this outfit. Look at the outfit. Oh my God, this is so cute. I love this. Sophia Baya has some beading here. And it has some beading on the sleeve. And she's wearing this gorgeous headpiece. Has some stones on it. 
And I would wear some silver shoes with this, of course, since the accents are silver. I think this is so cute. Let me know in the comments if I ate her up. Like, she looks very, 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 very cute. And y'all know I love me some pink. So, put a pink emoji in the comments if you think I got her together. Because I love this outfit. And I think I'm going to have to get this headpiece. I have the Avaya in the underdress. But I don't have this headpiece. And I want it now. I want this whole outfit. Y'all, this is crazy. It is so cold out here. And... I couldn't get no uh, student ID today. I couldn't get no parking pass today because the college only accepts cash. Like what kind of college? College university. College, you know, college. What kind of college only accepts cash? Like, is this a drug front? It's giving drug front. Like, it's really giving drug front. It's so cold outside. Initially, I wasn't gonna get a parking pass because it's doing me parking around the college. But today, it's freezing. It's 15 degrees outside. I'm like, no. I got to find me the parking lot. So, I couldn't find it. So, oh, catch my breath. So, I ended up parking in the teacher parking lot. So, I'm going to have to get a parking pass because I can't be doing all this walking in a freaking cold. And let me tell y'all how I got up in a spot. Mind you, this is my first day. And I emailed the professor when I had registered for the class because I had missed the first class. I emailed him, I was like, can you send me the syllabus? And can you let me know if I missed anything significant? He was like, oh, the, syllab the syllabus is on Moodle, which is like the online college thing or whatever. So I saw, I saw the syllabus and it's... <coughs> I said week one through three, it said introduction in a book or whatever. So I'm thinking on the second day, we're gonna start reading the book or whatever. Child, I guess in the class and they already talking about what happened in the book. I'm looking like, what is y'all talking about? Like, what are they talking about? Like, what are you really talking about right now? I'm, he like, oh, we're gonna read some of the book in the class later on today after they have a little discussion or whatever. I'm sitting up here writing notes, trying to, you know, catch up to what I could catch up on to. When it's time to read, he talk about stuff. All right, guys, everybody get on chapter 17. Chapter 17? How did you get to chapter 17? Like, ain't nobody told me nothing! I only missed one class. How did you get to chapter 17? You done lost your damn mind. When you get your damn mind, you call me. So now, I gotta go home. Today's Wednesday. I gotta go home and read this book up until, well, past chapter 17. So I could be caught up with the rest of the class because he said he's gonna send some questions, some discussion questions also. Please call for help. I'm just like, bruh, this is community college. It's supposed to be easier. <laughs> There's no way that I got to chapter 17 already. Like, this is crazy. Hey, y'all. So let me show y'all the new Abaya that we have in the store. Listen, the best part about working at an Abaya store is getting first dibs on the Abayas, okay? Now, I didn't purchase this one yet because y'all know I am queen brokey. But let me just show y'all the new Abaya that we have that I am absolutely 100% in love with. And I hope that I can have it for myself. And this is our new Abaya, which is so freaking pretty. Look at the tears, honey. Look at the tears. Look at the cute bell sleeves. Do a little spin around. Do a little spin around. Oh God, this Abaya is so freaking cute. And it comes with a matching brown hijab that has the same color stones as the Abaya. Hey, go to sleeves, cause these are my favorite sleeves. I love me a bell sleeve. I need to learn how to sew a bell sleeve. I mean, I saw, I watched a couple of videos on how to do it and it seemed easy, but stuff always seemed easy until you try to do it. But this is the Abaya with the scarf. I got y'all at an angle, honey. So y'all can see my cute outfit because this Abaya is so freaking pretty. She's not on the website yet, but her name is Alora. And when she hits the website, she's going to be $119. Listen, we get our things. We design them and we make them in Dubai. So that's why you'll never see this on AliExpress because some of these companies, 
maybe just buying stuff on AliExpress and then marking it up super high. But this is an original design. Well, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before. But I have to get to work because we have a lot of new inventory in and it's not gonna process itself, okay? One thing about being the store manager, I'm gonna manage the store, okay? So I have to process all the new inventory, get it together, and yeah, let's let's start our workday, honeys. All of these boxes of new inventory, and we have some over here. We have some more inventory over here. And not only that, we have some more inventory over here. And not only that, we have more inventory over here in these bags. Oh, so much inventory. So right now I'm about to steam my items. Um, I have some stuff right here that I can steam. And I have this wonderful $300 steamer that I wish I had for my apartment because it is so big and it makes it super easy and quick to steam a bunch of stuff, but let's get started. So I'm gonna show you guys how I saved my boss a lot of money as it pertains to photography when we get a new product in. So right now we have this new product, this new jersey hijab. It's, I'm calling this sea breeze because we have a similar color like this in a different material. But anyway, this is how I take an existing product and change it to the color as this. So we don't have to pay a photographer, pay a model to model it because that costs a lot of money, take up a lot of time. We're not doing none of that. We're gonna do the quickest way and we're gonna Photoshop it, okay? So I have the product that I wanna change. I chose this blue color because it's in the blue family as this new sea breeze color that I'm gonna make. So I only want to change the color of the hijab. Like I just wanna change this blue color. So I'm gonna take this tool right here. It's called the quick selection tool. I'm gonna make sure the plus sign is on and I'm just gonna like select just the hijab. I'm gonna use this minus tool up here to minus her face because when I change the color, I just want this blue to be affected. I don't want her to have a blue face, okay? So there's that. And I actually have a shortcut for all of this. I do the FN, the function command, and I press F2. And now everything over here in the layers area has been, you know, changed or whatever. So now what I'm gonna do is I have this color fill option right here. I don't need to use this because I don't want the uh, hijab to be uh, gray. So I'm just gonna unselect that. I can actually delete it all together because I'm just gonna play with this blue that I already have. So I'm gonna go to the hue and saturation and I'm gonna click this right here. And I'm just going to play around with the hue. So let's see what we have to do. We're going to go plus. That turns purple. I don't want purple. I want blue. So going negative, that's kind of working out for me. That's kind of working out for me. I think we want to go hmm, here. That, that looks like in the same family like. It looks a little bit different on camera, but it's like in this family. Uh, I'm gonna go to saturation, take some of it out, take it out. Okay, that looks about good. And it's a little lighter than this one, so I'm just gonna brighten it. Brighten it, brighten it, brighten it. And that looks like what it's supposed to look like. Like that looks like that, so. And that's it, I'm done. I actually have a video on how to do this on TikTok without me doing all this extra talking. So if you wanna see that video, check out my TikTok, but this is a vlog. So I'm gonna talk to you, okay? Okay. I'm gonna put a picture of what I did right here, just so you guys can see how they are actually the same color because I know on film, it really doesn't look like they are, but they are, okay? I promise you that they are the same color. Hey guys, so today was my second day of class. It's actually technically the third day of class, but it was just my second day. Anyways, the second day of class, I told y'all it was on chapter 17. So I was trying to hurry up and read the freaking book. 
I still didn't finish the book. I ended up, I got through a lot of it. I think I got to like chapter, I think I made it to like chapter 21 or 22 of 30. But I ended up just watching some videos on YouTube about it. So I had a good understanding of it. The book name is uh, Candide by Voltaire, something like that. Anyway, I get to class. I'm like all stressed and not because I'm like, damn, we're going to be talking about this book again. And I still haven't read the book. But I, like I said, I had an understanding of it from YouTube or whatever. Y'all, he put us in group so we could have a discussion about the book. Why I'm in a group and nobody read the book? Half the class didn't even read the book. Like, I really felt like the smartest person in the class today because nobody read the freaking book. But I'm glad that I didn't have, like, a paper or anything or, like, anything due today because I didn't get a chance to finish it. But I'm just like, yo, why was I stressing about this book and nobody else read it? Well, I'm glad I read it because our group would have been nowhere if I, wouldn't have, if I had not read the book. But anyways, I want to tell y'all, so I struggle with reading. I don't know if it's my reading comprehension or if it's, I can read, but I be having a hard time pronouncing certain words. Even enunciating my word is sometimes a little challenging for me. And even just reading and staying focused to what I'm reading on, it's a little challenging for me. So I wanted to tell y'all that if you have a PDF or something, you can literally select the words and then like, press it if you're reading on your iphone you can select the words press it and then press speak and then siri will read the page to you he chose to devote himself to writing after completing his education francois began moving in rather and you can read along and that helped me get through a lot of the book so if you guys have reading struggles like i do that'll help you but i think i'm gonna end the video here because it's been a week and i think the vlog needs to be over so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this video i know it's a little late i did a lot of editing to this video i am finally using final cut pro so let me know how you guys like the edits if you like the edits and you don't want to let me know just like the video so i know to keep editing the way i've been editing but tell me in the comments if you think the editing is cute because this editing took me a long time and it took me a long time to figure out how to use final cut pro but i'm excited for continuing my journey with it i'm excited for my content creation and i'm kind of excited to be done with the semester i don't think it's going to be as hard as i thought it was so i don't know but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you're new around here make sure you subscribe to the channel thank you thank you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one bye